Hey guys, I miss seeing you guys at church, so I thought I would pop on here and read you a Bible story. Let's get started. The book I'm reading today is Moses. One day, Moses was watching his sheep. He saw a strange sight, bright flames a fire burned from a nearby bush, but the bush didn't burn away. When Moses took a closer look, he heard the voice of God. God wanted Moses to go to Egypt and tell King Pharaoh to let God's people go. Pharaoh was mean. He made God's people work as slaves. God promised to help Moses, so Moses set off to go see Pharaoh. Moses warned Pharaoh that if he didn't let God's people go, bad things would happen to him. But Pharaoh wouldn't listen. So God sent swarming bugs, thousands of hopping, croaking frogs, and pounding hailstorms. Finally, after lots and lots of bad things happened, Pharaoh agreed to let God's people go. So Moses led God's people out of Egypt. But then, mean old Pharaoh changed his mind. He sent an army to bring the people back. Then God sent a big wave, a big wind, to split the sea in two so that people could walk through on dry ground and, just as, and, <clears throat> and get away from Pharaoh's soldiers. When Pharaoh's soldiers stepped onto the path, the waves came crashing down. After God's people escaped from Egypt, they camped in the desert. Then Moses went up onto the mountain to talk to God. God gave Moses special rules for everyone to follow. We call those rules the Ten Commandments. When Moses came down from the mountain with the, the Ten Commandments, he saw the people worshiping a golden calf. This made God very sad. God wants us to love and worship him. He wants to be the most important part of our lives. God wants us to follow the Ten Commandments too. Following the Ten Commandments shows that we love God. Can you find the children in this picture who are showing their love for God? What other ways can you show your love for God? The Ten Commandments can also help us remember to love others. God wants us to love our families, our friends, and even people we don't know. Can you find the children in this picture who are showing their love for others? How can you show your love for others? The Ten Commandments help us remember to to love God and love others. Let's read those 10 commandments together. Loving God, don't have any other God except for God. You must not worship any idols. Be careful how you use God's name. Remember God's day, rest and worship. Love others, honor and obey your parents. You must not kill. Stay, stay with your husband or wife. Do not steal things from others. Never tell a lie. Don't be jealous of what your neighbors have. So from this story, guys, I learned that God sent Moses down to be with, God sent Moses down to be with us to set the ground rules of remembering to love God.
So let's say a prayer together. Hold your hands and bow your heads. Heavenly Father, thank you for the video time together and for this Bible story. Help us to remember that God sent Moses to teach us the, right, the, the difference between right and wrong and to give us his Ten Commandments. Please watch over each of our Sunday school students, our teachers, our staff, and their families. Keep them safe, healthy, and happy. Help us to remember how much you love us and help us to know that during these times, you are right here with us, no matter what. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm so glad to be able to spend a little bit of time with you today. I hope you check back and see other stories that some of us are going to read for you. Have a great day.